And turn right now to our top story, to the deadliest mass shooting in Canada, at least 17 people killed in Nova Scotia. The only victim identified so far is Constable Heidi Stevenson, a 23-year member of the RCMP. Joining me now is Stephen Cook of the Halifax Chronicle. Stephen, great to talk to you again this morning. Uh, tell us, what is the latest on the investigation? Uh, well, uh, all I know right now is that uh, I think that RCMP are probably trying to retrace the killer's uh, steps, his his path that he took from Porta Peak until the uh, the incident ended at the uh, the Enfield Big Stop just past the, the uh, Halifax Stanfield International Airport, uh, and I imagine they'll be canvassing door to door through those areas to uh, to see what uh, what witnesses might have to offer in terms of information and see what else they can find. Anyone uh, who was on Twitter yesterday following this as it was developing was just shocked uh, to get the. the the picture of the suspect. He was a denturist. He was well liked. He was perhaps in a uh, what looked like an RCMP vehicle. W what are we hearing about this man? Uh, that's basically it. That he he was a well liked uh, professional. He he made dentures for people. Uh, I talked to a couple of people who uh, were his patients. They had nothing but nice things to say about him. But uh, obviously something went very very wrong uh, at some point in recent weeks and months. Uh, it's, you know, even going back to, to high school and university, people spoke fairly fondly of him. But, uh, you know, everybody's under a lot of pressure at this moment in time. And it's it's hard to say how uh, how that may have uh, changed his situation. Uh, as we said off the top, the only name of the victims that we know so far is that of the constable of the RCMP who, who was killed. Uh, do we know anything else about the other victims? Uh, the only other name that's come out is a DeBert school teacher, Lisa McCulley. Uh, the Nova Scotia Teachers Union uh, issued uh, a, a notice uh, mentioning her. But so far, those are the only two names that are uh, officially out there. We, we, we still uh, are trying to find out more about the victims of the original shootings in Porta Peak as, as well as uh, the, the murders that were committed al along the way uh, from, from there through, um, through DeBert, past Truro to Enfield. Uh, Stephen, take, take us back to that first name. Tell us about Constable Heidi Stevenson. Well, she was a, a, a multi-decade veteran with the RCMP. Uh, I believe at one time she'd been a communications uh, person with, with, the, uh, with the force. Uh, obviously very well liked, very dedicated to her job. And, and uh, her work touched a lot of people in the community. There, there's so much... Uh, there's so much compassion and love pouring out for her right now if you go on social media and, and Twitter and so on. And, and uh, she was, uh, I guess, based out of the Enfield unit at this moment in time. And uh, it's, it's just being treated as just a horrible, horrible loss. Stephen Cook, as we've said, a lot of questions today, not a lot of answers, but you've provided us with some. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks.